Hello. Oh, hi sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. 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 Hi, sir. Okay. Hi, Santosh, sir. Uh, hi, Shiva, sir. Good morning. Hello. Yes. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you see uh, my screen, sir? Screen. Yes. Yes. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah. Any any questions sir? any concerns sir? yesterday session sir no i mean not in the session but uh, uh, i have problem in downloading the sql mess oh you have a problem okay okay yeah okay. Uh, we'll do it after class for like five minutes and please let me know uh <laughs> it takes around 20 to 25 minutes sir basically to set up okay uh, no, no, no. So, uh, yeah, to set up, sir. To set up, basically. I mean, right now I have MySQL in my system. Okay, okay. Yeah, if you already ask, okay, you have MySQL, sir, that is good, sir, actually. We can practice there as well. Okay. No, I was okay. trying to do it. Okay, now. Because... Uh, okay, okay. In that case, sir, actually, we need to download one software, sir. Okay, I will send the software to you. Okay. Uh, where is the software? Yeah, here if I go my drive, mm. uh, mine is MacBook. So, oh, yours is MacBook. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, -huh. uh, if it is a MacBook <coughs> again, again, uh, that is going to be separate, so separate, uh, basically. Mm. Uh, in that case, we have to download from Google only. So there is no option. What I feel basically because uh, okay, what I provide it supports only Windows. Okay, I think Oracle software. Okay, download for Mac. Database download for Mac free. Here, Heracle client, maybe Heracle or JDBC software download. I accept license agreement. This way, I think we have to download from here. So, okay, database. It is for just client. Uh, for the Mac. I think we have to select a suitable thing, I think, from here, so maybe okay, for the Mac. Any one of the database. It is 18C, it's not required. I think we can go with that 10 or something. I, mean, 10 I, was, I was trying to do it yesterday. So I was okay. not able to find any way, so I downloaded my SQL and started. Yeah, yeah, MySQL is also fine, sir. Just to okay, we need to understand the concept only. Okay. So the commands yeah, and everything will be the same. Uh MySQL and SQL, right, sir? There are a little bit different, sir. Basically, little uh, some of the concepts could be different. You cannot say all are same. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, today also I'll try to download the SQL plus, then I'll see if it doesn't work. Yeah, my, yes, sir, MySQL and Oracle. Uh, there could be small differences, sir, not much differences. Okay, but we need to see like uh, Google if you uh, like if the query is not working, same query is not working, then mm -hmm. we have to see the related syntax for my SQL and work on it. So, okay, all right, anyway, I'll try this today also. I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, sure, sir. But Mac, I don't have a software, sir. If it is a unique like mm -hmm. Windows, I am having a software I can share right away, also. That's fine. Yes, sir. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, just try today, sir. Okay, if not working, we see the alternate. Any alternate is yeah, there. Uh, can you share me, share, share me that Windows also? I have like my old Windows laptop. I'll try to do it. In... Yeah, yeah. If it is a Windows, I definitely write away. I will share with you, sir. Yeah. Oh, I think, okay. Oracle software. Uh, yeah, Oracle. share i think uh, i need your email address sir. 
uh, uh, i'll text ping? i'll i'll yeah I'll yeah text, uh, let's uh, ping me in the uh, chat window sir i did yeah right yeah thank you sir uh, santosh sir even if you want okay if you want also you can just ping me sir i will share that one or if you have already that net is fine sir sql server is there that is fine sir Not yeah have it. yeah okay sir thank you yeah uh, i just shared you sir okay uh, you can just download that sir and unzip it unzip then we can install okay. the software yes sir okay yeah. all right thank yeah. you thank you thank you sir thank you i just shared with you okay and now sir uh, today we have uh, if you don't have any uh, like uh, questions or concerns over here uh, now we can go to the arithmetic operators sir uh, arithmetic operators yeah arithmetic operators there are four sir wherever we go right in tableau or maybe cognos or maybe any database this uh, arithmetic operator is going to be same these are the four types of uh, addition subtraction multiplication and division sir this uh, addition subtraction multiplication division okay basically applied on the uh, number data types basically number data type so how we can do how we can make them in the like in our database let's say we have a okay we do all the operations uh, like automatic operations and uh, on the employee table which is convenient to do basically select star from emp select star from emp this is the employee table okay here we have salary commission department number there are a couple of the couple of columns are available we have a data as well now i would like to do the arithmetic addition on the salary sum see so here salary is there commission is there so these are the amount fields are basically so i just add salary plus commission so i would like to arithmetic addition salary it is commission it is salary plus okay commission so salary minus commission salary multiplication commission or we can do salary divided by number also it is not always we need to add two columns only you can add one column like we can do the division one column and one number also or you can say salary plus 100 also like this we can do so now from emp if i specify like this okay this is going to be output so this is going to be output of that query see here salary commission we have now you see so salary plus commission i added this is the salary and commission now this is the salary plus commission see so 1300 300 1900 1600 plus 300 so okay 1250 okay 1750 1250 this all these things it is displayed like this okay it's displayed like this basically so now if i say salary minus commission so salary minus commission can you see sir 1300 sorry 1600 and 300 is going to be 1300 and salary into multiplication also we can do what salary okay divided by 100 also sir see sir 800 by 100 you will get the 8 or something salary plus commission like salary plus 100 okay 800 plus 100 is going to be 900 okay this way all the arithmetic operations we can perform so all the arithmetic operations we can perform but if you see so here if you see in this case salary plus commission is that the correct output so can we guess this is the correct output so right it is not right so it is not a correct output okay Hello. Uh, 
ஹலோ யா ஹலோ கேன் யூ ஹியர் மீ சார் நவ் எஸ் ஹலோ யா yeah yeah uh, actually uh, in hyderabad sir just uh, power left at my home um, due to heavy uh, today it was rainy basically so i just okay. connected through mobile if you yeah i connected through mobile so if you face any difficulties so in my side something please let me know sir sure sure okay yeah thank you sir thank you yeah here sir, basically i just just the salary plus commission sir okay but if you see so 800 plus there is a blank right so you will got you go only okay this blank we can treat as a in our oracle oracle or maybe null is going to be null only see sir but it is not the correct right sir if i don't have a commission at least i should get a salary so and that is the output we expect basically that is the output let's say if i give select e name salary plus commission salary plus commission from emp see sir what is the output we got it sir but it is totally wrong output right sir as we can say smith don't have any salary but he has some salary so because why it happened in the commission right sir uh, in the commission there is a null value while try, i am trying to do the arithmetic addition okay on the salary so i got this way so that means uh, whenever we do any arithmetic operator on null values any arithmetic operator with the null values the output is going to be null only any arithmetic not only addition addition subtraction multiplication division whatever sir all the arithmetic operation once you perform on the null values we'll get the output is going to be null only so if we don't handle the null values the output is going to be wrong sir basically the output is going to be wrong see sir this is says smith don't have any salary but smith they have actually having 800 so smith is having 800 salary so he don't have a commission but at least we should pay to the okay we should uh, display salary if he don't have any commission okay again this last oh my god uh, yeah hello yes that's the reason sir okay what i do okay to okay, get to uh oh. ah, sir okay okay yeah to do the addition sir to do the like uh, to do, handle the null values we have a function called nvl sir. okay to handle the null values we have a function called nvl function how i do make it how i make it sir e name i take it okay salary commission now salary instead of right so in salary there is a plus right so where is the plus yeah nvl of commission so nvl of commission comma zero from emp can we see sir like this it can work basically it is working in this way okay what I, what i did so basically here okay okay this is the syntax for the nvl so nvl whenever i found the null values in the commission i want to replace the zero see so here nvl of commission comma zero that means okay nvl function okay uh, look for the null values in the commission if any null values find in the commission it replaces with the zero now what it is 800 plus it is going to be zero 800 so instead of null so nvl is the function okay nvl is the keyword or a function to handle the null values or to replace the null values basically okay here i am saying zero only okay we no need to place always zero sir suppose whenever okay anybody having a commission zero or null value so i want to replace some okay i want to give 100 rupees or some something like instead of zero you can give the 100 2000 whatever value sir we can provide but it should be that okay it should be the number digit okay while giving the nvl function so we have to take care two things basically okay the commission is number data type right sir okay we have to replace our value also 
number data type if it is a string sum okay you have to replace with the string if it is a date so we have to replace with the date only that is what we have to remember so while doing the nvl function okay yeah that way salary plus commission is going to be uh, yeah yeah santosh sir please sir uh, is this only a uh, oracle specific function nvl or no in a sql server also it is there yes, sir it is not only specific sql server also i find sir okay okay i never use this function so okay okay sql server either this is there sir this is there actually nvl function sir okay okay We okay. Yeah, Thanks. we have used uh, each null. Each, each null function is the one we usually use. Oh, okay, okay. Each null. Uh, yeah. But uh, NVL also works, I think, sir. Okay. Yeah. Just okay. try, sir. Maybe it can be okay. done. I think. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, Sivasa, sir. Doubt? Any any questions, sir, on this uh, function, sir, NVL? Ah, uh, no. okay sir okay yeah because uh, why we are talking about the nvl so basically if we do any if we do any arithmetic operation in uh, like uh, uh, null value so we always get the the output is going to be a null value so we have to handle sir to get the correct data so this way we do basically this is the reason we do all this thing now okay all the arithmetic of suppose i would like to uh, 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 in uh, calculate the interest uh, okay or i would like to calculate the interest for the uh, salary for one year so let's say this is my salary so i want to calculate ptr by 100 something so principal amount is salary time is let's say 12 months okay let's the interest rate is going to be 100 okay 2 rupees and no. this is the interest so okay interest and i need to calculate okay 10% of my salary so multiplication 0.10 like all multiple okay hike from emp can we this uh, all the arithmetic operations we can do like this this is uh, for the interest okay 192 rupees for one year okay if i say hikes of for 10% hike i calculated basically for all the salaries okay yeah this way we can do all the arithmetic operations so it is not like only one or two okay whenever we get a requirement or something we can apply all the arithmetic operations such a way yeah okay these all are the arithmetic operations okay division we know divided by and multiplication okay subtraction and addition we can do basically okay done and done done and done yeah now okay we have couple of things here so comparison operator comparison operators okay uh, we have around six sir here less than sorry uh, equal to, not equal to, less than less than or equal to, greater than greater than or equal so we have okay here uh, equal to not equal to less than less than or equal to greater than greater than these are all going to be comparison operators we always use these comparison operators in the conditions in the where conditions whenever we restrict the data whenever we want to restrict our data we use all the arithmetic or like e com these comparison operators basically now see so how to we use comparison operator let's say select star from emp this is my data sir now i want to display only department number sir right sir this is the department number i want to display only department of 10th dep department of data let's say select star from emp where dept number equal to 10 sir dept number see sir here i am using okay comparison operator i want to put the condition over here so to write the condition we use the where and comparison operator i used okay to match with the that particular value the department 
can you see so i have a data for 20 and 30 but okay 20 10 and 30 now i got the data only for 10 so now i got the data only for 10 the department 10 the department let's say so i want to keep the data for 20 department what i can do so simply i select department at 20 and I put it so 20 department data i will get it okay i don't want a 20 department data sir okay i want to some okay all the departments okay except 20 departments so what i can do sir i can use the not equal so the not equal symbol is like this sir. the not equal to symbol is going to be like this basically can you see sir here you go okay we got 10 and 30 but not 20 because we apply conditions sir, which is department number not matching to the 20 department and the same sim okay in the not equal to we can use a separate symbol also sir yeah this one okay this is also same sum so for not equal to either you use this condition either you use this condition or you use this condition it is another going to be same basically can we see sir same out you get it same output get it basically so this and these two basically treat as a not not equal to this two, two we can treat as a not equal to basically okay yeah that way we can use equal to not equal sir and this is not only on the numbers sir. we can use this equal to not equal so on the e name or maybe job well, employee name all we can apply sir. let's say employee number if i go employee name if i go where e name where e name equal to where e name equal to let's say it is going to be alan sir. let's say a l l n a l l n can you see sir we got the alan only not all the employees because I'm giving the condition I want to only Allen. Yeah, this can be applied. But when we are applying the string values, right? So we have to always give the the single quotes we have to give. And let's say there are less than or less than less than or equal to and greater than greater than or equal, sir. This basically applied on the uh, amount fields that is more so okay, more uh, convenient and suitable way. Okay, where we can apply. Uh, less than or equal to or something. I want a salary. So there are a couple of salaries you can see right so here I want a salary less than 2000. So I want all the employees whose salary is less than 2000 whose salary is less than 2000 now Okay, where Salary Okay, less than or equal to 2000 Can we see sir? Okay, less than works in this way. See sir less than or equal to 2000 we'll get the all the salaries okay all the employees whose salary is less than 2000 if this is the less than not so less than or equal to basically okay e less than less than or equal to there is a small difference sir. so if i say less than sir below to 2000 sir okay whatever salaries will get it so if i say less than or equal sir we'll get the 2000 and below to 2000 also below to 2000 also let's say here i just take the 3000 sir okay 3000 okay if i get see i don't have a salary any salary like which is 3000 sir right so because i applied the less than not less than or equal so if i just go here and do the less than or equal so less than or equal to under 3000 can we see sir 3000 also includes here the 3000 also included here basically less than or equal means okay whatever specified number that will also consider basically the specified number also will be considered over here and yeah this way okay less than sir in case if i apply again sir, greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 3000 can we see sir okay 3000 and more than 3000 and if i say greater than so greater than only 3000 can we see so only 5000 because okay greater than 3000 i didn't apply the greater than or equal so 
yeah this all okay all the comparison operators works in this way while writing the conditions so while writing the condition all the comparison operators you will be used basically like there are six uh, equal to not equal to, less than less than or equal to, greater than greater than or equal to. yeah these are the arithmetic operators sorry comparison and arithmetic operators any questions or any concerns or any confusion on this uh, two two topics uh, no okay so say sir thank you sir yeah uh, and the next one is going to be a logical operator so next one we have a logical operator basically yeah logical operators we have three sir basically and are not and are not okay uh why when do you use this logical operator sir you we are writing one condition here sir right sir the salary greater than three thousand or something is the only one condition we are writing we don't know okay we don't need to use the uh this logical operator but uh, whenever we are writing more than one condition sir like uh, i want to display all the employees i want to display all the employees whose salary is whose salary more than two thousand and less than three thousand sir whose salary okay more than two thousand and less that means we are applying two conditions over here right so we, we have we have to apply two, two condition i want to identify employees okay 2000 more more than 2000 at the same time less than 3000 so these two i have to apply right so in this case what i do basically right so employee where salary okay equal 2000 and this is the logical operator i'm using so and see so and now i can write one more condition here now i can write one more condition see sir here i apply these are the two conditions one is okay see sir these are the two conditions basically okay while writing more than one condition okay we have to put the any one of the logical operators so any one of the logical operator okay to get the desired output can we see so we got but all the employees whose salary is more than 2000 and less than 3000 will get around six records with basically six record six or yeah five records yeah <coughs> that way <coughs> okay <coughs> and we applied here so but here uh, okay and or not we need uh, some definition over here yeah if we talk about see sir and or not here sir if you see and or not here okay see sir if any one of the conditions sir if any one of the condition fails if any one of the condition fail here okay this is the under condition right sir if okay under condition or on condition at least two conditions are required right sir so if any one of the condition okay uh, fails uh, true one condition true other condition false that means other condition not met the requirement but you will get the output to false only here sir f and t you will get the false only okay here both the conditions fail you will get the fail only both the conditions fail you will get the fail only but here sir if both the condition pass then only we'll get the output sir if both the condition pass this is the under conditions that means okay if you're giving all the conditions if you get all the conditions satisfied then we'll get the output basically yeah if i see our conditions are here okay if any one of the conditions sir, true 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 if any one of the conditions satisfied you will get the output sir see if both the conditions fail then okay it is going to be fail that means we don't get the output basically and for not sir okay if you see not right sir yeah if you see not here yeah right sir if condition true it is going to be a false sir if either not if it is a false you'll get the true condition it is a just negation sir if it is true then it is going to be a false 
yeah and now we can make it so how we can make it few things basically yeah let's say i specified select star from select star from emp where the salary greater than okay greater than or equal to 3000 3000 so you will get a couple of values right sir so, but the same condition i have to apply one more condition so and and okay and e name equal to e name equal to smith so e name equal to smith see sir no res no rows records so. okay no rows selected basically that means so uh, okay in this case the first condition evaluates first so. the first condition evaluates first okay you will get these three records so. you will get see more than three thousand right so you will get all the three records now okay it look for other condition okay within the output you got three records over here now it look for the e name so now it look for the e name see so within these three records i don't find e name smith so it won't display the output it will not display the output basically that means this condition fails this condition fail here so we don't get the or we don't get any output okay this is going to be and condition so if i say our condition on the same if i say our condition on the same see so you will get all the things uh, the smith also we get that means okay it execute first so this condition and this condition also execute all the conditions execute individually so okay with this one and this one so both the conditions met here so i got the smith okay smith and all the other more than 3000 also yeah this way the and and r so r means any one condition satisfied you will get an output so any any confusion over here sir think yeah civil size sir because santos are already having idea civil size sir uh, from no. your side sir no no okay sir okay thank you sir. thank you yeah now that is a not operator sir there is a not operator okay why i'm telling all these things are these uh, things frequently used in the reporting so these are automatic operators okay comparison operators all the logical operators we frequently use them in the uh, tab reporting tool based on a requirement we use basically but these are frequently okay now i have to talk about the nodes okay before taking the knot i will talk about some of the okay few things here is null so is null okay we already to use the comparison operator so to get the value now if you see here so if we see here uh, let's say clct select star sorry select star from can use a select star from emp right so okay see, sir, there are so many values in the commission so sir, there are some values and no, we don't have values for few of the rows that means so the, the it treat as a null value i want to retrieve only null values so i would like to retrieve only null values commission in the commission null values what we can do so basically here what we can do here select star from emp where commission so i cannot apply equal to or something right so equal to null it won't consider is null so is null see sir you'll get all the null values from okay the commission from the commission i want to display only null values from the commission so we just to commission is null commission is null okay now i don't want null values sir. i want to accept null values i want the employees whose commission is not null what i can do sir simply here i just go is yes right sir is not null is not null 
can we see sir uh, the not used here now you'll get the output like this uh, all the uh, okay except null values except null values we can get it so the not used in this case uh, is now is is a list of the null values okay and now uh, is not null list except null values it will be displayed except null values will be displayed basically okay <laughs> And here, okay. And the is null is not null. NVL already discussed, sir. NVL is to replace the null values basically, and is null to okay to extract the null values. Okay, this is also entry question, sir. Once upon a time, but not nowadays people are not asking. Okay, nowadays people are not asking this one, but oh, it was previously it was an entry question. What is the difference between N NVL and is null? Is null is to basically to retrieve the identify the null values, and NVL is to identify the null values, replace okay, replace the null values NVL function. That way it works. Now, okay, concatenation. Sir. Okay, we use the concatenation more frequently suppose okay when when we use in the reporting okay simple okay if you take a simple example okay in my database basically in my database i maintain the employee details employee detail employee name okay split it into three columns let's say sir employee first name employee middle name employee last name and employee surname okay i'm having a table like this and i am getting the data like this now i want to merge some i want to merge all this thing i want to merge and to display as a i want to merge and to display as a full name so this first name last name middle name is going to be all the these three for a different columns now i want to put a concatenation i want to use concatenation in between them so how we can make it so now can we see sir? select here select i'm having a e name right sir i'm having a e name and a job let's say i don't have all the columns actually let's say i just can concatenate two strings sir. employee name and job see sir e name this is the concatenation symbol sir two pipe symbol is going to be a concatenation symbols sir. e name and a job from emp from emp can we see sir okay when we use the two pipe symbol see sir both the output okay smith and clerk smith clerk allen salesman see sir all got merged like this okay that means the concatenation always works okay to concatenate two columns sir. to merge two columns basically we use the concatenation Okay, sometimes uh, I want to put, uh, okay, I want to keep uh, uh, comma separated or something in between first name and last name, or maybe let's say e name and job, I want to keep a uh, comma separator. Then what I do, so basically here, okay, I just go here. This is the concatenation, right, sir? This is the concatenation, comma here, and uh, again concatenation, sir. Again, continue concatenation. Job from EMP. Can you see, sir? We got the comma because I okay enter the uh, comma and again I concatenate with the job. That way, sir. And we can make some okay for like some of the. Uh, strings also let's like, say working as working as job from emp from emp can we see sir okay here there is a difference actually job from emp can we see sir? smith working as a clerk okay allen working as a salesman 
uh, like that we can mark we can we can make uh, some of the statement over here some okay and the pipe symbol sir it is a concatenation operator we can concatenate number of columns sir. it is not like one or two columns or something okay we can make number of columns as a concatenation let's say we can concat let's select is there select e name select e name concatenation job concatenation salary concatenation and higher date that means irrespective of the data types so these all are different data types right? so salary is a number higher date is a date and e name and job is going to be string or where care basically right so yeah from emp from emp can you see so all the columns concatenated into one column that all the columns merged into one column basically yeah this way we can okay use the concatenation operator right so yeah that is going to be concatenation basically okay any any thoughts or any questions any time you can raise a hands for any question okay yeah if not next to call okay next concepts it is going to be a column aliases okay alias basically is a alternate name so alias is going to be an alternate name for the okay alternate name basically we can have two types of aliases basically one is column aliases that means okay we provide the alternate name for the column so that may okay for alternate name for the column so we can call this as a column aliases we provide the okay alternate name for the column so we can call it as a a column aliases there are okay a table aliases also okay we pre okay we give the alternate name for the tables we can call it as a table aliases this we'll see in the later so the table aliases we'll see in the later but a column aliases we can work now so column aliases we can work now now in the employee table if we see so employee table right if we see we have a e name so e name job salary commission maybe dept and bo mgr or something so now these are the basically technical terminology okay let's say what is sal so sal that the sal we know this is going to be a salary but if you present your report okay if you present your report or output to the customers okay they don't know the technicality okay many of the people know okay uh, don't know about the technical terms right so we have to prepare the proper headers to the output basically proper headers we have to give now in this case what i do so basically see here sir. see here now how we can make that aliases let's say yes sir okay what happened yeah select sir i'm having a salary sir but i don't want to display sal into my column yes. i want to display as salary salary okay sal again as salary sal okay and we love commission and we love commission sir what happened to this here okay commission comma zero this i want to display as a total salary so okay i just say total salary s a l a r y from emp can we see sir the headers how it is displaying so see sir basically it is a salary my column name was a salary but i am displaying as a salary so s a l proper name of it alias name of it basically here sir again sir salary here total salary right sir aliases can be defined in the three ways so okay aliases can be defined in a three ways just as a column name space alias name so just you can provide this way also alias just column name space alias name and here sir 
shall okay as you can use the as keywords and to provide the alias name this way also we can provide the aliases and see sir double quotes also i can use double quotes also i can use and provide the alias name so but okay uh, the double quotes the mandatorily we have to use okay if the alias name is a two words so this a total salary total salary this okay uh, these two are the two words basically right sir i wanted to say these two are one word only i wanted to say to the system these two words are a single word total salary is going to be a single word so you have to always the single quotes if you are using single words sir for your alias name you no need to give the or you no need to use the double quotes basically but oh, your alias name has in get two words so definitely we have to use the single quote, like double quotes basically so alias just is alternate names uh, for the column if we change the names of uh, provide the alternate name those we can call it as a column aliases aliases can be defined the column aliases can be defined in three ways okay one way is just a column name space alias name sir uh, other one column name as alias name and okay a third one is column name if the alias name is going to be two words you just use the double quotes so you just use the double quotes basically yep these all are going to be aliases any any questions over here sir till this topic till this topic uh no column aliases no questions yeah. okay santosh sir no no questions okay yes sir. okay uh, okay thank you sir is that okay today sir we i think we made some progress today i think a couple of things we discussed here okay uh tomorrow at least we target uh maybe till this part we can target to the till this part tomorrow like there are a couple of functions and classes aggregate functions tomorrow uh once we complete this one sir then yeah you can plan accordingly one by one so okay shall we okay we'll meet tomorrow sir for the further sessions like for all yeah but our target is to complete at least this part so we can complete easily that part okay okay is that okay sir? yeah yeah, uh, yeah. In, in, i have one question in joins do we also use cross joins uh, in tableau or is it only the the inner joins or left or left joins or Till those joints itself, or are we going to use cross joints as well in Tableau? Yes, sir. Basically, we can make the cross joints in Tableau, but it is not useful, sir. Basically. Okay, so we we need not have the knowledge of cross joint while dealing with Tableau, right? Well, yeah, we don't need to have. We don't need, sir. Actually, but the thing is, okay, somebody in the in the, uh, the point of entry, people ask, so how can how we can make the cross join in Tableau? Okay, so uh, okay. we're gonna, we're gonna um, yeah, yeah, so we can we discuss so that thing actually. Okay, because it is just only at the point of entry, sir. Okay, real time scenarios we never use the cross joins that we know, right, sir, while writing the queries or wherever it is, sir. <laughs> okay, I, I I never saw basically where we are using cross joins, but oh, cross joins are there. But oh, I will I will okay, we'll complete that part, sir. Like how we can make the cross joints in Tableau, we do that one also. Okay. Yeah, sure, sir. Okay, within soon. Okay, within a couple of days, we can just start the Tableau, sir. Couple of days means this is one day. Again, here two, three days. Ah, uh, yeah. Again, it is going to take like four days or so, sir. Okay, but here, sir, we will practice. Uh, and I will provide. The, they are. They have a lot of uh, questions. Okay, please with me, sir. I think this can be downloaded from Google itself. That's fine. But I will send you all the things. Uh, where is the SQL queries? SQL queries. That two around two twenty eight, two thirty eight to SQL queries are there, sir. From small to bigger. I will provide this document. Yeah, yes, skill queries. Do you have an email ID, sir? Yeah, I have. Oh, 
ಶಿವಸಾಯಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸರ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಇಮೇಲ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಮೈ ಐ ನೀಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇಮೇಲ್ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಸರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಯಾ ಯಾ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಯಾ ಸೋ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ಡಿಡಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸರ್ ಯಾ ಓ ಯಾ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ Uh, where are those? Yes, Kelkore is. Okay, I will just find the document, sir. I will, okay, yeah, this is the document, basically. Yeah, if I say, sir, this is smaller to bigger, all the queries are available. Smaller to bigger. And I copy your email address, both the email addresses. Mm. Okay, yeah, this too, sir. Uh, yeah, if I see sir, all the SQL queries like this, sir, see. This, sir, okay, you will have a question and a query also. We need to execute and see the output, so how it is going to be. So, sir, okay, minimum things to maximum things all are there, basically. Around 238 queries will be there. Yeah, definitely I will forward this document, sir. It will help somewhere, actually, to practice many of the queries. Yeah. Sure, sir. Okay, but today's session, uh, that Krishna will share with you, sir. Today's session. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will just yeah, share okay. with him. Then he will share all. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You. We'll meet tomorrow, same time, sir. 10 o'clock is work at right sir 10 o'clock is work right sir yeah for us yeah, i think it's our time time. is almost 11 o'clock night sir <laughs> that's the reason uh it is night 11 o'clock so again i have to wake up at 6 o'clock so i just i'm wrapping session a little early so it is okay. 11 7 basically <laughs> so 10 o'clock ist is also fine yeah. for us sure sir yeah yeah 10 is 10 Uh, yeah we met 10 sir we met 10 okay that we, uh, it is almost one hour sir okay it is 11 now 11 pm sir for us it's 130 so it's like oh 130 oh it's 130 okay 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 yeah for you 10 in the yeah night. later okay after uh, yeah it's 11 sir <laughs> it's yeah. 11 night Okay. So it's okay it's okay, okay for yeah, us we'll... you can take before 10 also i uh, inform me ah uh, before 10 actually i'm having one more session sir yeah okay. i'm having one more session for a few days sir it is going to complete yeah it is going to complete soon maybe it takes our maximum 10 days maximum sir okay yeah okay. once the the that course is completed then we can okay if 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 you all agree, then we can move to the like nine o'clock session. If you all agree, okay. then only it's not something here, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay. See you tomorrow, sir. Same time. See you tomorrow, yeah. same time, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah.